Now, much more on this, but I want to move now back to well, Mr. This Trump. Legislation, hold on, hold on, this hold on. on we, we have a lot. We have a lot. Deserves a little more attention. We have a lot to discuss. I want to move to Mr. Trump right now. We we have a question on this war against ISIS and how you would fight and win this war. Here's the question from Facebook. Listen to this. I'm Josh Jacob from Georgia Tech. Recently, Donald Trump mentioned that we must kill the families of ISIS members. However, this violates the principle of distinction between civilians and combatants in international law. So my question is, how would intentionally killing innocent civilians set us apart from ISIS? Mr. Trump. We have to be much tougher. We have to be much stronger than we've been. We have people that know what's going on. You take a look at just the attack in California the other day. There were numerous people, including the mother, that knew what was going on. They saw pipe bombs sitting all over the floor. They saw ammunition all over the place. They knew exactly what was going on. When you had the World Trade Center go, people were put into planes that were friends, family, girlfriends, and they were put into planes and they were sent back for the most part to Saudi Arabia. They knew what was going on. They went home and they wanted to watch their boyfriends on television. I would be very, very firm with families. And frankly, that will make people think because they may not care much about their lives, but they do care, believe it or not, about their families' lives. Donald, this is Go not, Governor this Bush. Is, Governor Bush, this, this is another example of the lack of seriousness. Look, this is, this is troubling because we're at war. They've declared war on us, and we need to have a serious strategy to destroy ISIS. But the idea that that is a solution to this is just, it's just crazy. It makes no sense to suggest this. Look, two months ago, D Donald Trump said that ISIS was not our fight, just two months ago. He said that Hillary Clinton would never, be a great seen. negotiator with Iran. And he got, gets his foreign policy experience from the shows. Uh, come on, give that me. is not a serious kind of candidate. We need someone that thinks this through, that can lead our country to, to safety and security. Mr. Trump. Look, the, the problem is we need toughness. Honestly, I think Jeb is a very nice person. He's a very nice person, but we need tough people. We need toughness. We need intelligence, and we need tough. Jeb said when they come across the southern border, they come as an act of love. You said in September 30th that ISIS was not a I, I, Am uh, I not talking, a factor. or are you talking, Jeb? I'm you talking right back. now. I'm talking. You can go back. You're not I'm talking. talking. You interrupted me, September 30th, Jeb. Are you going to apologize, Jeb? No. Am I allowed to finish? Yes, one at a time. Excuse go ahead, me. Mr. Am Mr. I allowed to finish? Go ahead, Mr. Trump. So, little of your again, I, 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 uh, I know Governor, you're trying Governor to build Bush, up your energy, please, yet, but it's not one, working one very at a time. well. Yeah. Look, look, look. We need a toughness. We need strength. We're not respected as, an, you know, as a nation anymore. We don't have that level of respect that we need. And if we don't get it back fast, we're just going to go weaker, weaker, and just disintegrate. We can't allow that to happen. We need strength. We don't have it. When Jeb comes out and he talks about the border, and I saw it, and I was witness to it, and so was everyone else, and I was standing there, they come across as an act of love. He's saying the same thing right now with radical Islam. And we can't have that in our country. It just won't work. We need strength. Governor Don Bush. Donald, uh, you're not going to be able to insult your way to the presidency. That's not going to happen. And I do have the strength. <laughs> leadership, leadership, is not, leadership is not about attacking people and disparaging people. Leadership is about creating a serious strategy to deal with the threat of our time. And I laid out that strategy before the attacks. Uh, in Paris and before the attacks in San Bernardino, and it is the way that the, of the way forward. We need to increase our military spending. We need to deal with a no-fly zone in Syria, a safe zone. We need to focus on building a military that is second Thank to you. none, so that we can destroy Islamic terrorism. With Jeb's attitude, we will never be great again. That I can tell you, we will never be great again. All right, Hugh, Hugh, Hugh at Adenabash. Hugh, go ahead with the next question. Governor Bush. Commander-in-Chief, question. You've said that uh, Mr. Trump is not qualified to be president because he's not qualified to deal with Vladimir Putin. Why are you uh, better qualified to deal with Vladimir Putin than Mr. Trump? Because, I, first of all, I, I know what I don't know. I know what I don't know. I would seek out, as I have, the best advice that exists. I won't get my information from the shows. I don't know if that's Saturday morning or Sunday morning. I don't know which one. I will seek out the best advice. And I will create a strategy and I will persuade the American people what the, what the role of America should be. I've laid out a policy of rebuilding our military. All of the talk that we're saying here, most of which I agree on, frankly, 
uh, requires a much stronger military. We now have a lack of readiness that is quite scary. We have planes that were that Harry Truman inaugurated, the B-52. We have the Navy has been gutted and decimated. The readiness of the Marines is way down. If we're serious about America's leadership in the world, then we need to make sure that we have the back of the armed forces. The armed forces radio is here listening to this today. I hope they know that if I'm president, I'll be a commander in chief, not an agitator in chief or a divider in chief, that I will lead this country in a way that will create greater security and greater safety. Mr. Trump. I think it's very sad that CNN leads Jeb Bush, Governor Bush, down a road by starting off virtually all of the questions. Mr. Trump this, Mr. I think it's very sad. And frankly, I watch, I think it's very sad. And frankly, I watched the first debate and the first long number of questions were, Mr. Trump said this, Mr. Trump said that, Mr. Trump. These poor guys, although I must tell you, Santorum, good guy. Governor Huckabee, good guy. They were very nice and I respect them greatly. But I thought it was very unfair that virtually the entire early portion of the debate was Trump this, Trump that. In order to get ratings, but Mr. I guess. Trump, it's not CNN. It, ratings, Mr. Trump, I, I was on I just CNN think it's last very night watching. Excuse me, I think it's very unprofessional. But it, but it wasn't. It wasn't CNN. It was me. I watched well, you last night for sixteen minutes. Watch, I think it's, it's very not CNN. It's not CNN. Fine. It's America's watching you. Okay, fine. It's America's watching. So I was. I was. I was mentioned so I can bring up something. I think right. Look, the simple fact is, if you think this is tough and you're not being treated this fairly, isn't tough and easy. imagine I wish what it's going to be like I dealing wish it with was Putin or dealing easy with as President you, Xi or dealing with the, the Islamic terrorism oh, that yeah. exists. This is a tough business oh, to run for oh, president. Oh, no, you're a tough guy, Jeb. And, it's, and we need to have a leader that is pre- real principled. tough. You're never going to be president of the United States tough, by insulting yeah. your way to well, the let's presidency. Let's see, I'm at 42 and you're at 3, so Doesn't so far matter. I'm doing better. Doesn't matter. So far I'm doing better. You know, you started off over here, Jeb. You're moving over further and further. Pretty soon you're going to be off the end. This does do a thing to solve the problem. It sounds more and more.